Oh, hey everybody. Did you wait till the last minute to do anything for Valentine's Day? I bet you did, because I waited till the last minute to make this video. If you're like me and you just, you slack off too much and you forget things, it's not that you forgot, it's just time just went by, who knows what happened, but you're late on Valentine's Day stuff. Now you could be one of these slackers out there and just go to the grocery store and get yourself already made chocolate covered strawberries for your significant other, or I can show you the cheat sheet on how to make something amazing that will get you brownie points. All right, that's all we're in here for. You're not winning competitions, but brownie points are important. So here is a way to make something amazing. It's so easy, anybody can do it. It's cheesecake stuffed chocolate covered strawberries. Sounds ridiculous, right? It's not, it's stupid easy. You don't have to make anything. No one's gonna know. So now let me show you what's in it. It's strawberries, you need the freshest of the fresh. Cheesecake, no bake filling. It's Philadelphia, it's literally a tub of cheesecake without the crust. This is what you need. If you cannot find this magic, this is everywhere. No bake, cheesecake. It's the exact same thing, it takes three minutes to make. You just mix it up with what, sugar, butter, milk and this turns into this. So if you're gonna make this, put it in a bowl, I'll put it in the fridge for a little bit so it gets cold because then it's easier to deal with. Crushed up graham cracker crumbs, a Ziploc bag, a piping tip. This is actually something important. You can find this literally at any store ever, grocery store, they're, they're everywhere. And they, they cost like a dollar, but it's necessary. A little knife, because strawberries are delicate. Chocolate of some sort, because we gotta melt chocolate. These are Harris Teeter brand. Milk chocolate baking chips. And a dish. That's it, that's all we need. Step number one, we gotta make a piping bag. What you're gonna do is just cut off a little tip. That's good. Then we're gonna go ahead and throw this bad boy in there and hope that the hole I made was right. And it was, look. Little trick to get your filling into this bag. Take this, put it into a cup, and then fold the bag over top of the cup like so. Now your, your filling's easily accessible. We're gonna do this. All right. Throw this bad boy in there. And now you have a nice bag full of delicious cheesecake. You see how stupid that looks? Just be patient and then push that through there. Leave the top open so you got some airflow. Just work that right into that. Boom. We're gonna move over to the strawberry thing. Very simple, not a lot going into it, but you gotta be a little delicate. Take your strawberry, after rinsing them off, because we're trying to be clean here, leave the stem on. You want that there. We're gonna cut this down the middle like so. Down to the stem, don't cut through it, just so that it's like this, right? Flipper, just make a little cross section. Take it and open it up like this, so it looks like the thing that eats you on Mario. Or, uh, that's a Demogorgon. Looks like a Demogorgon. Right? Now, take your piping bag. Put the tip down into the base of it. We're gonna go like this. Boom, you see how sick that looks? That looks ridiculous. And it took me three seconds to do. You might wanna just like, slightly close these up just so it's more uniform looking. Now, move this beautiful piece of art you just made to a dish and get to making the rest of them. All right, cut that. Cut that. Spread these open. Wow, piping bag to the bottom there. And I just kind of do like a spinny thing while keeping normal pressure the whole time till it reaches the top. Close these up just a little bit. Wow, done. And they look like little cheesecake roses of strawberry greatness. Boom, that literally took me five minutes. Look at these. We got a whole 12 pack. We're not done though. We're gonna put these in the freezer for like 30 minutes to 45 minutes so that they can harden up because we're gonna dip them in chocolate and they're too delicate right now. So freezer, 30 minutes, tops 45. All right, next step, we gotta melt the chocolate. And since we're half-assing things, I'm gonna show you how to half-ass melt chocolate. Because technically, you're supposed to temper it with like a double boiler and boiling water and a bowl on top and slowly do it. We have no time. We're already half-assing it. Let's half-ass this too. Milk chocolate. We're gonna do half the bag. The reason you wanna do half the bag is because if you mess this up, you have another half of a bag to try again. Microwavable safe bowl. Start with one minute, all right? All right, after one minute, go ahead and take your rubber spatula or a spoon. See how it's starting to get melty? That's nice. 
Mix it up a little bit. Get them nice and moved around. Make sure you don't get any water in this because it will seize up and then you've ruined your chocolate. Back in one more minute. All right, second minute done. Look at it. We're talking completely melty and good. This is what we want. We're gonna put a dollop of oil. It can be vegetable oil, olive oil, do just, just, a, just a little bit. That's gonna make it a little more smooth. And now that our chocolate is melted and we're ready to go, we're gonna let it cool for a second. And we're gonna take our scrubs out. All right, they're rock solid now, which is pretty good. We're gonna take all this green stuff off, right? And if you can, take the little stem out and we're gonna do it like this. Cause originally I was gonna dip it on the side, then we did it and then it was apparently ugly. So we switched it up. All right, learn from me since you should be watching this video before doing this. Take the stems off first before you do any of this. All right, now we chocolate them. Get yourself one of these, all right? If you don't know where to find this, let me tell you. Around this time, go to the bakery section or pretty much any section in your grocery store. They have these. They're just little tins. Just ask them. They should give them to you. If they don't, ask somebody else. They'll give them to you. And it makes it look cool. We don't just put these amazing desserts in Tupperware and hand it to the woman or man of your life. That's dumb. Use this. It just makes it look cooler, all right? Trust me. Second thing you're gonna need, what are these, cupcake papers, cupcake things? Yeah, just, again, it's gonna make it look cooler, believe me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump them in chocolate and then put them in this paper and it's gonna look cool. I'd say like a quarter of the way up. I'm gonna do that so it stops dripping. Put it right in, boom. One of them is done. Remember to wait till that stops dripping so you don't drip it all over the place. Put it right inside of here. Bow. And since our strawberries are freezing cold, the chocolate's gonna stick to it pretty quick. First off, can we admire how sick these look? Just take a gander. Take a gander, they're still frozen, but they're not that frozen. What? And also, if you can't tell, this is only nine, we made 12, which means, guess what? You got some extras for you to eat and no one's gonna ever know. Now for the next thing, just to add a little bit more to it, take them graham cracker crumbs, and we're just gonna sprinkle some on the top. Cause it's not a strawberry cheesecake without a little graham cracker. Just take your time on this, don't throw it at it. And would you just look at them? They're still frozen if you can't tell. They're not super frozen, but they are still frozen. Don't put them back in the freezer, put them back in the fridge because we want the cheesecake to stay solidified or at least cheesecakey. And then we don't want the chocolate to melt and all that. So just put it in the fridge until you know, you're ready to give it to your person. Do that. Boom, they're done. It literally takes like, in all, probably like an hour and five minutes, but that's because you're freezing them for an hour. This whole thing takes like five minutes to do. And you look like a superhero. You look like you did something amazing, cause you did. No one has to know that we cheated our way through it. It's not cheating, working smarter, not harder. You can sit around and make your own cheesecake and be proud of that, or if you have no idea what you're doing, do this, it'll save your life. Just look at that. Yeah, it was really good. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. If you like this video, like it, I'd appreciate that. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're almost to 800, but I need to be by 1,000 in a month. I need 1,000 in a month. I don't need 1,000 in a month, but I need to get to 1,000. We're almost there. We're almost there. Goodbye.